जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ शर्मा एकेडमी एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट क्लाइमेट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ क्लाइमेट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश सो एज आई टोल्ड यू आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ क्लाइमेट रिगार्डिंग ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश एंड यू नीड नॉट टू गो एनी वेयर एंड सॉर्ट आउट द मटेरियल फॉर दिस ओके सो एज आई प्रोमिस यू आई हैव अगेन कम अप विद द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ this particular topic that is climate of madhya pradesh so let's start without wasting the time uh, this is the next question in madhya pradesh what is known as the hot winds in the northern part under the summer seasons so whether it is a option cyclone b storm c lu and d is frost okay as it is uh, regarding hot winds so i think you are the you have the correct option okay already you have the correct answer so let's see to it the correct answer is definitely loo okay so here you can see that in north part it is actually we can see that in this part it is known by the name of loo okay so during the summer season in madhya pradesh in may and june high temperature in northwest india builds the pressure gradient okay this in north uh, what happen actually in the northwest part there is a high pre- uh actually there is a step low pressure actually build step pressure gradient means it's low pressure built during the month of may and june not high pressure high pressures is here and uh, what happened due to this ho- hot dusty laden and strong winds known as loo blows and loo normally starts blowing by 9 am increasingly gradually and reaches maximally maximum intensity in the afternoon it blows with an average speed of 30 km to 40 km per hour and persists for whole of the day and loo winds originate over iranian baluch and thar desert okay it it originates in thar desert as well it uh, originate iran and baluch and it may cause sunstroke to people and which is lethal too okay it is known as temperature invariably invariably ranges between 45 degree to uh, 50 degree celsius the next question which part of madhya pradesh receives more rainfall what do you think which part of madhya pradesh receives more rainfall so it it is south east part it is south west part north west part or north eastern part what do you think what is the correct answer yes this is the south east part of madhya pradesh the south and the south east regions tend to experience a higher rainfall whereas the parts of north west receives less rainfall okay mandla balaghat sidhi jabalpur and other extreme eastern parts receives more than 150 cm rainfall the south eastern part of madhya pradesh receives the highest rainfall due to its proximity to the sea level and the kerala branch of the arabian sea because uh, we uh, actually madhya pradesh receive most of its rainfall from arabian sea branch the mumbai branch and the bay of bengal branch hitting the satpura mekali range and the highest mountain range of the state here you can see the map also and here you can see that the, um, here in this map it is particularly divided into two part this is east part this is west part in west part you can see that 32.9 and here in east part 30.35.9 okay so, so uh, it this part receive the uh, more rainfall so uh, south east part what will change in the state due to northward of the sun this is equator this is tropic of cancer this is tropic of capricorn if the sun is go- going towards the north okay what will happen increase in temperature decrease in temperature no change in temperature none of these it's very easy to answer because i have drawn the diagram even definitely it is increase in temperature without thinking you can mark it okay so after march 21st it happens due to the sun in northward due to which the temperature in the northern hemisphere begins to rise and hence the temperature in north madhya pradesh rises quickly and mainly in district like 
ग्वालियर मुरैना दतिया द टेम्परेचर इज हाई बट इन सदर्न मध्य प्रदेश इट इज रिलेटिवली लेस हॉट वॉट इज द मेन सीजन फॉर द वेरी लो रेनफॉल इन द निमार रीजन इन मध्य प्रदेश सो निमार रीजन ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश रिसीव वेरी लो रेनफॉल वॉट इज द रीजन सॉरी वॉट इज द रीजन द रीजन रिसीव ओनली साइक्लॉनिक रेनफॉल द एरिया इज मोर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द बीच और साउथ वेस्ट मानसून इज नॉट इफेक्टिव इन दिस रीजन द रेन शेडो ऑफ सतपुरा माउंटेन रेंज फॉल इन दिस रीजन what do you think what is the correct answer so if you have opted for the correct one are you ready to see to it i think you are ready let's see to it yes this is the d d is the correct option okay so here yeah, this is the picture also you can see that nimar region of madhya pradesh so barwani khargon okay khandwa these are the uh, nimar region of madhya pradesh got it so actually what happened the riman region in the southwestern part of madhya pradesh is situate uh, situated between the narmada son valley and the satpura mountain range but the area has a shade of satpura mountain consequently the rainfall is less so what is the correct option the rain shadow of satpura mountain range falls in this region that's why this region receive less or we can say that very low rainfall which of these monsoon receives the highest rainfall in madhya pradesh so whether it is south east monsoon south monsoon south west monsoon or all of the above let's see to it what is the correct answer the correct answer of this question is south west monsoon so the south west monsoon usually breaks out in uh, in the mid june when it breaks out in the mid june sorry let me take the pen yes in the mid june it breaks out june and the entire state receives a major share of rainfall between june and september okay so if we, okay if this is india so this is uh, arabian sea okay so this this is the southwest monsoon why southwest because it originating from the uh, southwest part okay that's why it is known as these are the trade winds which are moving towards the peninsular india okay and it receives the rain from from what southwest monsoon and it just breaks out got and uh, entire states receive major share of its rainfall between june and september it comes from both the southwest monsoon and even southeast monsoon okay southwest means arabian sea and southeast means bay of bengal with the arrival of monsoon in madhya pradesh rainfall start from southeastern region then in the northeastern okay where, where where it first start in southeastern region then in the northeastern part okay intermediate and western parts where is the coldest place in madhya pradesh this picture is from the coldest place of madhya pradesh only okay see you can see that the people they are just uh, sitting towards the sitting around uh, around we can say that what we call it actually i forgot the name right now okay just let's see to it come come again here uh, it is is it mansoor ashoknagar shivpuri gwalior where is the coldest place in madhya pradesh so correct answer i think you have opted for correct option is shivpuri got it this is the correct option so shivpuri is the coldest place in madhya pradesh where the minimum temperature is found be between 2 to 4 degrees celsius in the month of january and many time less than this also due to excess of high lands in the northern part of madhya pradesh the plateau region gets the coldest and the plains are relatively cold shivpuri has an average elevation of uh, 468 meters okay and uh, the city is a popular tourist attraction in the monsoon season as it has a number of minor waterfalls and lakes now come to the next question how many parts of madhya pradesh have been divided on the basis of climate let's see to it how many parts it has been divided if you know so the correct answer whether it is option a 4 option b 3 option c 2 and option d 5 let's say to it correct option is 4 obviously okay madhya pradesh weather is markedly different in following climatic zones so i am just writing the climatic zones as well 
the northern plains the hilly region of the vindhya the narbada valley and the malwa plateau okay i am going to write it for you what are the different climatic zones uh, okay on the basis of di uh, climate it is di uh, divided into northern plains it is of madhya pradesh it is not not of india hilly region it is of again a uh, madhya pradesh not of india vindhya okay vindhya the narbada okay this is vindhya and narbada is together and last is malwa plateau okay the plain of north they uh, it remains very very hot and warm it, it is having very hot and warm climate not very very hot mountain regions of the satpura moderately warm its optimum or temperate climate narbada valley region very warm and moderate really cold malwa plateau less warm and less cold climate means again temperate type of climate and bagelkan plateau again fifth we can divide it in fifth even okay bagelkan plateau also very warm but moderately cold climate so okay now come to the next question where is the sub regional meteorological center established in madhya pradesh so options are here bhopal gwalior jabalpur sioni let's see to it what is the correct option the correct option is bhopal obviously uh, the sub regional meteorological center established in madhya pradesh this is the capital of madhya pradesh that is bhopal okay so what is actually a meteorological center it is a uh, the uh, actually meteorological center where all the weather records or climate records are to be kept and the meteorological center has been set up by the indian meteorological department in bhopal and uh, through which the meteorological department provides weather forecast information and apart from this an office of indian meteorological department has been established in indore district do remember this also that an office of indian meteorological department is set up where in indore district also now the next question which group in the following district groups comes under the area of low rainfall so whether it is reva satna ya sidhi this is you can see this group reva reva satna sidhi then bind murena gwalior so let's see to it whether it is bind murena or gwalior then jabalpur indore devas okay this is ujjain sorry Jabalpur. This is Indore. This is uh, Jabalpur. Somewhere upside. Okay, so uh, here we, I can't uh, mark it because everything is coming. Uh, this is Devas. Okay, and uh, this is Jhabua. But uh, and this is actually Jabalpur is here. Okay, and then this is uh, Bin Murena Gwalior. Okay, and uh, this is the region of uh, Balaghat. okay siuni and chindwara okay so this is the uh, another region so what do you think which of in the following district groups comes under the area of road low rainfall if you find the uh, direction that in which direction they are located so definitely you will find out which of the following group falls in the category of low rainfall so definitely it is bind murena and gwalior because where it comes it comes in the north east part and it is away from the branch of bay of bengal okay you got it White so Bind Murena Gwalior Shyampur Nimach Mansoor Ratlam Shyampuri it's a district of Madhya Pradesh fall under the region of what fall under the region of low rainfall okay with uh, actually even the uh, less than very less than average rainfall now the next which of the following statement is false regarding the climate found in plains of the north under Madhya Pradesh to so, northern plains of Madhya Pradesh so whether it is the region receives rainfall from both the bay of bengal and arabian sea branches the temperature decreases due to the distance from the sea level to this region c option 75 cm the west of this region and 100 cm in the east it rains the region experiences the most drought due to weakening of the southwest monsoon got it so what is the correct answer let's see to it the correct one is the temperature decreases due to the distance from the sea level to this region so here in the north part of the madhya pradesh there is rain from both the bay of bengal and arabian sea here you can see in this map okay it receives the north part of madhya pradesh it receives rainfall from where again i am telling you from uh, bay of bengal branch even from the branch of um, 
Arabian Sea. But due to the distance from the sea level, because their distance is def, uh, very uh, far, they are very far from the sea level, the monsoon becomes weak due to which the amount of rainfall here is reduced to 75 centimeter and in the western part of plains of the northern part in 100 centimeter in the eastern areas. Rainfall occurs but due to weakening of the southwest monsoon, drought condition arise many a time. In the northern part, the temperature of cold in summer is high mainly due to the distance above sea level and the proximity of Tropic of Cancer. This region experiences the hottest summer and the coldest winter also. Do remember these things also. Okay, about what? About Madhya Pradesh. Now come to the next question. According to Koppen, Koppen, okay, who, how many uh, part of Madhya Pradesh climate have been classified? So this is actually according to Koppen. So if you know about the Koppen climate, let's see to it. It is divided into, into how many parts? So it is divided into mainly three parts. It is AW. AW is means what? See, uh, Koppen is, uh, uh, has... Uh, already uh, taken the letter letters of uh, alpha, uh, or we can say the alphabets a b c d e okay so according to this letter and sub letter and also use sub letters to denote the climate so it is a w a w means uh, tropical a is for tropical okay a word is for tropical and this is savanna climate or we can say that semi-arid climate then uh, uh, it is found in the district of Barwani, Khargon, Khandwa, Burhanpur, Alipur, Dhar and Jabua. Then in the southwest, west of the Madhya Pradesh and hot summers, Mediterranean climate in Gwalior, Jabalpur, Sagar, Singroli, Reva, hot semi-arid climates in other parts of the state. Now the next question, which part is called Cherapunji of Madhya Pradesh? So, I have already discussed this with you in match the column type of question. I think in the previous uh, video, if you have seen my previous video. So, whether it is now uh, Nayagao, Dhar Kundi, Pachmadi or Mandu. Let's see to it the correct option. It is Pachmadi. Yes, the Pachmadi, it, is, uh, it comes in Hoshanga Bad district. Located under the Satpura mountain range in the southern east part of Madhya Pradesh, it is called Ch uh, Chirapunji of Madhya Pradesh due to being the most rainy place. Pachmari in Madhya Pradesh receives the highest rainfall of 251 cm. Here you can see even this is Pachmari, okay, very beautiful, very green because of the high amount of rainfall as uh, Chirapunji is, okay. Now it is it should be called Mosin Ram of Madhya Pradesh instead of Cherapunji because Mosin Ram received the highest rainfall in the world instead of Cherapunji. Which region of Madhya Pradesh has a temperature? It should be temperate climate, not temperature climate. So please correct it. It's temperate climate. So it's Central India, Vindhya Pradesh, Nimar, Malwa. Yes, the correct answer, Malwa. Okay. So, Malwa Plateau located in the western part of Madhya Pradesh has the characteristic of dry continental climate and temperate climate is found here. The climate of this plateau is temperate. That is neither, uh, we can say that very high, or uh, very high temperature is here or not very cold. Okay, means optimum type of climate. A.R. Subramaniam and T.R. Sri Man, uh, Sri Manarayana have divided Sri Manarayana have divided the climate of Madhya Pradesh on the basis of distribution of temperature and rainfall. Options are given here. Just read it and try to give the correct answer. Are you ready? Yes, I think you are ready. The correct answer is three. Okay, so uh, A R Subramaniam and uh, T. Shrima, Shriman Ramayana, Ra, uh, sorry, Shriman Narayana, they have uh, actually 1991 classified the climate of Madhya Pradesh into three parts. So one is semi arid step type, that is according to Koppen. Okay, so B S H W, 
this is b b for uh, uh, b used for mainly for a uh, uh, tropical type of uh, climate okay then uh, hot temperature rain com climate hot temperature hot temperate sorry temperate rain climate then tropical humid dry climate okay these are the climate of madhya pradesh where it has been divided got it see my handwriting is not too good because of the pen i need uh, i'm not ha it's still habitual because i have prepared so many lectures but still not habitual of writing this pen because this plain this pen is very slippery okay so writing i think you have to get in chala lena so please chala lena now the next question under which month does madhya pradesh have scorching heat heat so i need not to discuss in detail because i know that you know the answer correct answer is may obviously okay so in the month of may generally uh, madhya pradesh receive the highest amount of heat and this is the um, uh, in this month the temperature is the maximum now come to the next question according sorry come to the next question here is this was the next question according to the famous metrological tranth weight how many parts of madhya pradesh climate have been classified so let's see to it what is the correct answer of this question it is correct as here it is 3 so the famous scientist tranth weight has been divided the climate of madhya pradesh again into 3 respectively semi arid arid semi arid climate okay so it is semi arid then arid and again semi arid climate based on the important balance of climate and water balance in addition to temperature and rainfall in which of the following district of madhya pradesh village have been included in the climate smart village project whether it is damo satna sagar or sidhi okay so the correct answer of this question is here it is satna okay now come to the next question Madhya Pradesh gets more heat due to which rays of the sun fall perpendicular to which line? I know that you know this answer also. So the correct answer is definitely Tropic of Cancer. Okay, and here you can see that Tropic of Cancer passes from which state? You can name it also. Okay, so the under the year two thousand seventeen eighteen, the st uh, sorry this. Uh, sorry actually uh here it is uh, sorry okay it is uh, uh because of this tropic of cancer you can see that in the month of april and may the rays of the sun it is directly over the tropic of cancer so in the month of may it receives the maximum amount of heat and hence there is a rise in temperature in north madhya pradesh in areas of uh, tropic of cancer where it passes it is known that um tropic of cancer passes midway through madhya pradesh and had a great influence on the climate of the state which place of madhya pradesh receives minimum rainfall a option bind b option mansoor c option balaghat and d option raisen what do you think which place of madhya pradesh receives minimum rainfall what do you think what is the correct option correct option is given here let's see to it it is b behind bind and it is uh, place gohad okay so bind gohad the least rainy place in the north part of madhya pradesh is located where 55 cm of rainfall which may varies from 50 to 75 many times centimeters and the amount of rainfall in madhya pradesh decreases from east to west east it is very high but in the northwest it decreases very much okay here you can see that bind it is very less so the options we, uh, which are given there it was bind okay because we have seen that the northwest part of madhya pradesh receives very less rainfall got it so friends in next video we will discuss more questions so till then like my video do comment also and subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed yet and share this video with your friends thank you very much for watching